On this, um, in Namdekano being arrested and arranged in, in court that has been going on on our survey space for, you know, quite a couple of hours now is, uh, you know, really shaking the whole Nigeria as a whole, especially to the East. Now, many people are saying, or according to the statement that came out, that um, the Interpol aided the Nigeria government in capturing Inamdekanu. And now many people have started, you know, going buzz over it. Inamdekanu is a British citizen as well as being a Nigerian. How can um, the British, you know, extradite their, their citizen out just like that? Like, it doesn't make any, any sense that he could be arrested in the UK and the UK will let him go just like that. Me, I think that's a, I, I don't think he was arrested in the UK. He wasn't arrested in the UK at all, at all. He wasn't arrested in the UK. I think he was actually arrested, um, allegedly in Kenya on an African soil. He was arrested in Kenya in, like, he wasn't arrested in the UK. Because for those of you that don't know how this kind of things are operate, the United Kingdom is a civilized nation that is governed by rules of law and everything. No one, no, no, no matter even how wanted the person may be, can be arrested and extradited without extraction hearings before a court of law. Especially if the person is a British citizen, which in Namde Canon happens to be one. So it is not something that they can just, you know, arrest him, extradite him, go to court. It takes extradition takes many 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 months you know before it can be perfected so to to to, to now think that it was actually arrested in the uk no 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 few days ago it was still seen on facebook live and then a 100 million naira bounty was placed on him by some group of the northerners at the end of the day like are we supposed to say this like it actually worked somebody sold him out in his group if he was arrested on an african soil that means somebody close to him sold him out and why was he covered up in you know um in 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 front of the high court he was covered up when i even saw the picture it looks more like a photoshop that was like like is this really in namdekano is this like a because the, this picture looks like a photoshopped picture the one circulating the internet looked like a photoshopped um, you know, one. And then they keep saying it was arranged in court. We didn't see any picture. There is no picture, or there's no. Although we still need to wait for further information, but certainly he was not arrested in the UK, or cannot be. You know, UK cannot extradite their citizen just like that. So to me, it's just ambiguous saying that he was extracted in a country where where their rule is, where they live by their rule. Because I wonder, and I know for certain that it is a lie for someone who seek asylum to be deported to the country that he used in seeking asylum. Like it's very, very difficult to even imagine that. Now let's look at the scenario that that the interpol that the Britons actually you know worked with the federal government in getting this guy. That means like that will mean that. Even being a British citizen, it's, it's nothing. It means that all our shouts of being, you know, looking, you know, trying to get out of Nigeria, like we are fighting the wrong people we should face. That means the Britain is, you know, the British are uh, like, they are still ruling us. We are still under them. There's nothing like independent. If they can actually aid and, you know, work together with this current government, the Wala Demoru government is standing currently. That means indirectly the british are also still ruling us there's nothing like independent i want to make a face i want to make a face if we go protest you are at the agitation of our see number phillies the people want to check for the nigeria government that means we should face the british the you know we should kukuma carry our protest to them because we like we have been looking at it from the wrong perspective all along if truly the interpol the, the british knew about this so but that if he was arrested on an african soil that's another case entirely. To me, to me, probably somebody, somebody that, that knows where he's going sold him out. 
he fought with Ascari. Ascari vowed that he will be that he, that they will get him, place the bounty on him. Lo and behold, Inamdikano is arrested or rearrested. They said he jumped bail in 2019, and then he was rearrested to continue in his trial. Although it has been adjourned to July 26, so let's wait and see. But the government, and I'm sure the East, they really fear this guy because this guy basically, de you know, declared a national holiday in the East that nobody should come out. And they all complied and followed his instruction. Like, they followed his instruction. They are so, this Biafra, BIPOB people, they are so organized that Bukun Kotiba so. Only kick bugu woman dad the come out to shop unijo kongo de si e yeto bota wo bumo boro sile no ibi ti won ti won ti won lek podi miro kwenye le chele nigeria miro kwenye le chele ni southwest wow she yon kon she gana adams le ni kenny body my daddy njo kabi sunday ibi wogo adu kote je governor kongo kwe ma bota njo kon she ma boro sile le no so like inam di kano really command respect or probably let me say command fear to the government because this guy like his people really followed him bomba to bomba they really believed in him and in his vision anyway let's see how this whole thing plays out let's see how it plays out it is a sad moment in davido's crew that one of his um crew member was 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 i mean was dead you know dropped dead rather drop dead obama by the name of obama we call him obama he's one of the davido's crew one of his manager drop dead and he's getting you know rampant with davido's crew these days i think this is like the fourth or the fifth one dying and when when we did investigation or two how he died he drove himself to the to the to the hospital and this is for your information guys this is the guy that um was allegedly that that impregnated she was savage allegedly sometimes few you know months back that we broke the news this is the same guy obama is one of the crew boys of um the video and they said um according to what his crew member said they said he, he was still eating rice in the studio where they all gathered to spend time with the video before they left and then he left and later on he complained he complained that he couldn't break again. Then he drove himself to the hospital. And he was, you know, proclaimed dead. And besides, you guys don't forget that not too long ago, a pastor saw a revelation of the video being poisoned. And all, you know, all the social media was saying he was just chasing clout. Now, suddenly a member of that crew died. You know, sometimes revelation for you, me or another person could actually come, um, you know, with another person's face, but actually meant for you. Perhaps being a member of that crew or always in the midst of that same crew, you also need to be careful and prayerful. And again, could it be that the rice that he ate in the studio was poison? You know, there's a possibility in that. There's a possibility in that. It's really, really, really sad. A fine, young, promising, handsome, um, you know, guy like this. Still was it be more to share Berelia here. Just drop dead, just like that. Cigarette and smoking and drinking too much drugs. He was complaining that he couldn't breathe again. He drove himself. Oh, funare, lo, 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 wale, lo, si, hospital. But himself. Could it be the rice he ate was poison? Could it be it's poison? Or the video to worry you could worry? Boy, I want to show the rough and worry you could you could come up with. Boy, I into for it back when you could lay. I mean, a, a lot of you know, a lot of um, um speculations are just going about. Suspicions are going about social media concerning the death of um Obama. It's really really sad and it's 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 more like a shock. But in the Davidos crew, I think a lot they need to reorganize themselves. Because it's getting too much. They need to reorganize themselves. Boya I got on fat to junior. Boy, I got on mumbe to junior. Boy, I drug it on bit on jembe bio to junior. But something needs to be looked to into the video screw just dropping dead from nowhere. It's getting too much. And it's really, really sad. 
Orunre, RIP to Obama, and a, con um, a condolence to all his family members and also the crew member and also his fans worldwide. Uh, it's, it's really a sad day. Anyway, let's move on.